We here, we live. Who's next? 757 Radio. It's your boy Camo. I got money signed sheet in the building. Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What it do? What's going on? How you doing? My right, bro. Just chilling, staying out the way. All right, let's talk into the mic a little bit. Let's talk into the mic a little bit. All right. Yep, yep. Yeah. So, listen, we was just chopping it up a little bit before. Um. So, you don't do too many, too many interviews too much like this, man. Nah, I'm really outside, bro. This is my first time like, mm. doing something like this, you know what I mean? Like, And, I, and I, I just started like taking rap seriously maybe a few years ago, you know what I'm saying? So, done some shows, you know, videos, rapping, all that, but I ain't never been on no platform like this. This is the mm. first time. Thank you for coming out. No doubt, no doubt. Mm-hmm. So let's let's talk about it too, man, because I see you moving around. Well, yeah, I definitely do that. Any opportunity, I take it. You feel me? Mm, as you should. That's what Word. you're supposed to do as an artist coming up. So, what are some um, what are some obstacles you you came across in your journey so far as an artist? Really, like as soon as I started taking it serious, you got to think like you know as far as like how you gonna get views on your videos and. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with, you know, dudes, managers Mm -hmm. and and stuff like that, trying to get shows. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The whole, you know, Brad situation, like how you put it in the right places to make the right things happen. So just like learning the real business. Because at first when I was rapping, it was like I'm just grabbing beats, ain't paying for them, I'm rapping on them. You know what I'm saying? And and I was was just, I just wanted the city to hear me. But now it's like I'm trying to go global with it. So everything got to be serious now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's different. It ain't the same no more. It's definitely not the same no more. I like what you just said because um, independent artists, a lot of independent independent artists, younger artists, I must say, moving mm-hmm. in that direction as far as just grabbing beats off YouTube and things. I preach that a lot. Like, you can't yeah. do that. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely work with a producer. Get your own beat made. Exactly. And push that because if you you just grabbing a beat off YouTube, you some people don't even contact the producer. Nah, like, yo, so when I was incarcerated in 2019, I had the Jay-Z book, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And I was reading about that, and he was like, at first, he was just going everywhere with the beats. But, you know what I'm saying? When he finally sat down and locked in with a producer, Mm. that's how he found his sound. So Mm -hmm. now, like, if I do grab a beat off YouTube, I directly hit the producer, and I'm like, yo, how can I get a a beat made for me? You feel Mm. what I'm saying? So I do that now. That real business, that real business. That's solid. That's solid. So, um, records you got out, man. You you've been releasing music, yeah. So, um, you got projects out. I got an album called Gangsta Way Only. I I dropped that joint last year, in April. Gangsta uh, Way Only. Okay, so how long it took you to create that project, man? Not too long, for real, for real, man. Maybe like like three or four months. Like I I can make songs, like you know what I'm saying a lot. You feel what I'm saying mm. I can. It's like I got a gift to do it. I don't know where it came from, but you know what I mean. I'm running with it. Okay, okay. What? Well, what's one of your favorite records from the project? Uh Cabbage Patch. Yeah, Cabbage Patch. It's, it's different. You know what I mean? I like that's probably the only. That's a one in one track. And then I got another one. You know what I'm saying? I did with a cat out there in, uh, from from Toronto, Canada. I went out to a 38 special. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, did that joint with him, okay. like off the rip. You know what I'm saying? We just went to the studio. Brought him in there. We did a joint like right there. That's all right. That's all right. All right. All right. I see you. Like I said, man, you moving around. I see you. See you uh, side by side with Gilly. Word, Gilly the yeah. Kid. Yeah. I did a show in uh, upstate New York. That joint was up there, like near like Rochester. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it was like a like a rapper convention. They had like you know Benny, all them cats was out there, and I ran into Gilly. You know what I'm saying? He heard me rap, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? He chopped it up with me. That's a real nigga right there. That's what's up. That's Word. what's up. That's solid. You got the content to go with it. Yeah, Definitely yeah. moving and shaking. So what's um 2024? What's what's new for Money Sign Sheet? This the year, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? This this the year. I'm really try to try to pop off the career. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm doing some features with some major artists. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? Figure out ways to get to the next level. Mm. This year, I'm really, you know what I'm saying, taking it there. I like that. I like that. I like that. So, um, talk to me, man. Uh, is there anything you want to uh share with the people? Like, anything that um I don't know you may have coming or anything you've been 
been doing and things like that? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm about to be dropping like crazy. I got mad work, you know what I'm saying, that ain't been put out. A lot of videos I done shot that ain't dropped yet. I'm about to just start dumping them on people, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm about to start doing some major features, you know what I'm saying, with major artists, stuff mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, listen, Um, what? The Appetizer is a new single yeah. of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 twenty five k views on YouTube. That's the last joint I did. Yeah, I definitely, you know, what I'm saying. I told you, man, I've been working on marketing. You know, what I'm saying, getting my stuff out there, and it's definitely paying off. You know, what mm. I'm saying, it's paying off, and I'm I'm gonna continue to do that. You know, what I'm saying. So, how do you like the feedback from um records like that? I see sixty four k on IG and all that. Mm-hmm. How do you like the uh the feedback? It's cool, man, cause cause you know, I'm like like I like I target the whole world, bro. You know, what I'm saying, I don't. I don't just target just VA, you know what mm. I'm saying? I try to target the whole world and let them know, yo, it's, it's niggas is solid in VA, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, you know what I mean? I, that's the first thing I say. I'm like, yo, I'm from VA, okay. you know what I mean? And and I appreciate, like, everybody that, that fuck with the hip-hop shit and showing me love, you know what I'm saying? And right. I don't ever really get too much hate. Mm. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. I could I could definitely say the same. The brand definitely, um, Who's Next 757, definitely been growing I Word. can definitely, I feel you on that. We're getting a lot of love. We're getting a lot of love. Listen, let's get into this freestyle. All right, let's do it. Let's get into this freestyle, man. 